Indicator 16.4.1 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals calls for the measurement of the total value of what is known as illicit financial flows or IFFs. You know, in order to curb or to manage or reduce illicit financial flows, one needs, first of all, to, to know them, to, to know the key sources of them, but also to measure them. So the, the main objective of this project is to work with member states actually to be able to quantify and measure illicit financial flows and disseminate the statistics around us to raise their awareness about the issue and then inform further decision on how actually to deal with these illicit financial flows. But first, a typology was needed to identify and separate, when necessary, the main sources and channels of IFFs, and also to identify and separate currently legal from illegal economic activities generating IFFs. Illegal is also, is also illicit, but there can be a number of activities and practices that can be formally legal, uh, but still, uh, many of us, many people would consider them as, as illicit from, for example, from a moral or ethical perspective. Illicit financial flows can be classified from many angles, such as the sources of IFFs, or channels through which IFFs move, or the economic impacts of IFFs, as well as the actors involved in IFF activity and their motives. There are four types of IFFs, so we focus on tax and commercial IFFs, there's corruption, there's theft type and terrorism, and there's all the illegal and black market activities. The idea, of course, the intent is to develop separate uh, estimates for the different types of illicit financial flows so that they can serve different policy needs. Sometimes it's not so clear cut. It could be a combination of corruption and uh, tax and commercial IFFs, for example, which in turn then lead to theft type or terrorist activities or even black market activities. The tax and commercial practices category comprises illegal tax and commercial IFFs, such as tax evasion, duty and revenue offences, and market manipulation, among others. But also IFFs generated from legal economic activities through aggressive tax avoidance, such as the manipulation of transfer pricing or tax treaty shopping. Only the illicit parts of the cross-border flows belongs within the scope of IFFs. Specifically, in the tax and commercial practices, we are looking at three main types. One is from the trade misinvoicing, then we have profit shifting of multinational enterprises, and we have the flows of undeclared offshore wealth um, and tax evasion by individuals. IFFs from illegal markets refers to trafficking in goods, such as drugs and firearms, or services such as smuggling of migrants, as well as cross-border flows from managing the illicit income from such activities. We give you just an example. In, in one country, Latin America, the, the amount of illicit financial flows related to drug trafficking are the same size of all the exports of agricultural products in that same big country. IFFs from corruption is the third category, which includes a broad range of criminal acts, like bribery, embezzlement, abuse of functions, trading in influence, and illicit enrichment. Illicit financial flows from corruption may be generated not only by cross-border uh, corrupt practices, but also by proceeds from domestic corruption, which are hidden abroad. And IFFs from exploitation type activities refers to illegal activities such as slavery and exploitation, extortion, trafficking in persons and kidnapping. And this category also covers the financing of crime and terrorism. Now, UNCTAD works primarily on the tax and commercial practices. UNLDC works on the other three. All, all types are being put out to the, to the pilot testing measurement. However, what will be measured in each particular country will depend on their national circumstances. We know that there, is, uh, there are many transactions, financial transactions taking place that have something illicit, whether in the origin or in the destination or in the way uh, they are performed. We don't know what is the size, what are the flows, what are the destination and uh, origin of the countries. We don't know whether all the policies that the countries have put in place to counter these flows are effective or not. If we are not able to measure whether there is a, 
uh, a change, or whether as we hope a decrease. We are not able to say whether the policies that are being put in place are effective or not. To join the global statistical move to measure illicit financial flows, visit stats.ungtad.org forward slash IFFs or unodc.org.